Are you ready? crazy. Hi and welcome. It is so hard to believe it's actually almost Christmas. It is. It's really getting close. And it's been a long time since January, but this year has gone way better than last year. At least We've, for us. Yeah, we got vaccinated and uh, the, we got the boosters. And so we've done really well that way. And we've been able to get out and travel, mm -hmm. which has been really nice too. Yeah, it really has been. So in this final season three episode, we're going to share a couple of things with you. First, we're going to tell you uh, about the last few stops we made on our three month trip. And then we're gonna give you some numbers. Like of, miles and mm -hmm. gallons and Price per gallon, that kind of stuff. Yep. Most expensive, least expensive here and there. Let's dive in. After we left the alpaca farm, we headed to Chattanooga to visit my brother. We'd actually been in Chattanooga three times this year. Um, I would visited my 95-year-old father in April. And then shortly after I arrived home, we got the news that he had passed away. So it was great to see him in April. Um, we then went out in May and some of this footage that we're showing you here is, is from that trip in May. And when we visited in August, we had a great time with uh, my brother and his family and uh, we just didn't shoot a lot of video. Um, but it was a really good, good chance to, to get together. From Chattanooga, we headed towards Florida via Huntsville, Alabama, the home of the U.S. Space and Rocket Center and space camp. We became aware of space camp when our oldest son was oh probably 10 or 11 years old and it was all pre-internet of course and he brought home some information about space camp from school and he didn't end up going but we've kind of kept it in the back of our minds the whole time but maybe someday we'd like to visit there and on this trip since we were kind of passing through we decided to stop. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center along with the space camp are situated about six miles from the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville. Marshall has a long history of involvement with the U.S. space program going back to the 1930s when the town was tapped to build a chemical munitions factory for World War II. Following the war, it was repurposed and used by the famed German scientist Werner von Braun and his team to build the first U.S. satellite. His dream was to build rockets that could take people to Mars. He didn't live to see that dream fulfilled, but he did live to see one of their rockets, the Saturn V, take men to the moon. The adjacent U.S. Space and Rocket Center where we visited is operated by the state of Alabama and houses a large selection of space and rocketry exhibits. In conjunction with the museum is Space Camp, a summer educational and residential program for children ages 9 and up. They also have programs for entire families as well as adults. I have put the links to their website in the description below. Now, we noticed that there is a Marriott Hotel on property and there is an RV park. We stayed in the RV park and it was really fine. Yeah. It, it was fine, it was, a good, it was good for a couple of nights. Um, and certainly there would be a place that parents could take an RV or stay in the hotel while their children were attending space camp. So yeah. that was really, it was really cool to see that, so yeah. So it was a good stay. We had a lot of fun. So a while back, I saw a video put out by Blue Wave Odyssey, Bob and Debbie, uh, about St. Augustine, Florida, and thought, hmm, this looks like really kind of an interesting place. Yeah. So I showed him the video and... It's one of the oldest cities in the United States. It's, European it's, cities, it's I should say. It is the oldest say. city, isn't it? Isn't it is the oldest city? Uh, there's some discussion uh, about okay. whether... It is or another one is. It is or it isn't. So, yeah. But in any case, it looked like a really interesting stop. So I found a KOA and booked a couple of nights and we had a chance to see some of the really cool things like yeah. the Pirate Museum. That, that was, was that was really so fun. much fun. <laughs> There's and a lot of good displays in there it. There really are. It was it was like, it was way more extensive than I expected. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's a, an amazing amount of information about the pirates and they have the oldest pirate flag there as well. And the oldest, the only surviving pirate chest is still there. Yeah. And some very scary looking 
weapons. It, they were scary guys. Yeah, they were really, they were really, really nasty. They were really bad guys. Yeah. And maybe there was a good one here and there, but they were bad. And women too. They were not always nice people. That's so, true. There was yeah. there was pirate women. Yeah, but there's some really. I mean, there's there's um, artifacts they've found and they've done salvage diving, and it's very very yeah. very cool. We highly recommend the Pirate Museum, and that's uh, a big thank you to Bob and Debbie because they're the ones that brought that out. Yeah. We also stopped at Castillo, uh, the, see, I, I'm sorry, I have to read this one. The Castillo de San Marco National Monument. Um, again, um, United States National Monument and a very cool place. It's, it's basically an old Spanish fort that eventually the United States, as they got possession of Florida, uh, came into possession of. And it was, it was an extensive building and it's never actually taken in any no, battle. You, they, the cannonballs would bounce off of it because it was it, uh, of the it's kind made of, of it's made of a limestone. That's, you can see those tiny shells in it. It's yeah, really cool. Very thick walls and yeah, um, the, and the, everything would just bounce off. So it was never actually no, taken. It was it really was, cool, was a really cool spot. Yeah. There's also a lighthouse down the road. We saw it. We took some pictures, but we did not go in it. It was closed for COVID. Yeah. Um, and we but it's really cool looking. The other thing that's really cool, there's a lion bridge. Yes. And we drove over it a couple of times during the day. We thought, we need to go over this at night. So we did, and it was really fun. So we had a great time in St. Augustine. And um, would, I would go back. Yeah, I yeah, would. definitely. There's a, there's really a lot cool more place. to see there than what we saw. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so that was a great stop. So from St. Augustine, we drove to our final East Coast destination, and that was Parrish, Florida, where my sister lives. I hadn't actually been in the same room with her for probably four to five years. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we talk all the time, but we hadn't actually seen one another physically. And so we just spent about seven to ten days there having a really great time. We went out to eat. We didn't take a lot of video, um, but we had a really good time shelling on beach as well. Yeah. I, I went shelling with, with Veronica. Veronica and Derek went shelling. Greg and I, we held down the beach chairs. That's what we did. You know? <laughs> but we had a really good time. Um, and it, we had, it was just, it was just a lot of fun. The beaches in, in the Gulf Coast are, of course, beautiful. We also had a chance to see your cousin, Valerie. Oh, yeah, that's uh, right. Who lives in yeah. uh, a little further north in Tampa. So um, it, was, it was just really a lot of fun. Let's talk numbers. We drove 8,032 miles. On, with the RV. In three months. In three months. We don't know how much we drove with the Jeep. We didn't really keep track of it. In driving that, we used 1,292 gallons of gas. We got about, what, six and a half miles to the gallon, we figured. Yeah, and it's a 38 foot motorhome. Pulling and we were pulling a Jeep the whole time. 15 foot Jeep, so. On the gas, the most expensive was 330 a gallon. That was um, in Rexburg, Idaho. That was Rexburg, Idaho, yeah. yeah. Byron, Georgia, it was 269. That was our cheapest, right. least expensive gas that exactly. we had. We buy we buy most of our gas at the Flying J because we have the uh, Good Sam discount card, and what, it's easy to more? get yeah five yeah. cents off, and it's easy to get in and out. All right, let's talk numbers of RV of RV parks. So in the three months, like we said, we went to 26 different RV parks. We also stayed at a state park and a Harvest Host. So the most expensive one was, was in St. Augustine. Mm -hmm at the KOA there. $75 a night. Yeah. It's yeah. just an expensive RV park. And the least expensive was the state park in Kansas. In Kansas, and which proves I need to get more into or into staying at state parks. So all in all, it was a really good trip. We got to visit all the family that we wanted to see, and that was a lot of fun to see them. Uh, we also got to visit national parks and national monuments, national historic sites and we got to see other beautiful places as well. So that wraps up season three and 2021. We appreciate all of you who watch and follow us, and we'd like to wish each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas and a healthy and happy new year. You bet. We have some really great and fun and exciting things coming in 2022. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And ring the bell to get notified. And if you like our content, please give us a thumbs up. You bet. Until next time, restless friends, you take care. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Bye.